Hey everybody, this is Mike with the One Stop Co-op Shop, and I'm showing you a game coming to Kickstarter soon, Connecting Flights. This is a game, as you can probably tell from the title, where you're trying to get passengers on aircraft and to different destinations. And you can play it both competitively with two to five players, not that I'll be showing that, or solo co-op with one or two players. Like normal for my Kickstarter coverage, I'll be showing a full solo playthrough in this case, and at the end of the video, I'll have my impressions and kind of thoughts on the game. You can use the timestamps to skip to that if you want. And as always, we never accept or receive compensation for our Kickstarter coverage. We just want to help you make an informed choice. So to give you an overview of the gameplay in solo and co-op, you've got passengers out on the board. These were randomly seated, so it will be a different configuration each game. And we're going to be trying to get these passengers to their destination continent. So for example, these two blue meeples in Nairobi want to get to North America, the matching color. Uh, the meeple in Dubai and Barcelona and Bali, they all want to get to Africa, matching their red color. And if at any point we have cleared off every meeple on the board, they've all reached their destination continent, we win the game. But at the end of each round, we're going to add even more meeples. More are going to show up. And if you have not gotten everybody off the board, everyone to their destination happy by the end of round 10, you are done. Now, the key concept that everything else in the game rides on is forming flights. So as an example, and this is what I'm going to do for my first turn, because in the co-op game, you get to give yourself some free starting cards in kind of your supply. I'm going to get these two meeples from Nairobi to somewhere in North America. In this case, I'm going to aim for Los Angeles. But let me show you how you put it all together. So here's what I chose to start with in solo co-op. You can pick two airports, one plane, and one passenger. These are the three types of cards in the game. And you also have fuel trucks. You start with a level four, which is the best one. And to form a flight, you put these four elements together. So first you need an origin airport. In this case, remember, it's two meeples coming from Nairobi. So bam, there we go. And next you need an airplane. It can be of any type, but these three stars at the bottom are going to tell you how many meeples you can move at maximum. So here I could bring up to three meeples from Nairobi. There's only two, but I could bring all three. And I also need to place a fuel truck here. Now, I'll show you what the value needs to be in a second, but just know that four will get you anywhere. That's the highest value. And then I need a pass passenger that's going to the correct place. In this case, it's a bit hard to see, but he's going to North America, which matches Los Angeles, so he'll be good. And finally, you need a destination airport. So in this case, I could bring up to three meeples from Nairobi to Los Angeles. And since in this case, they are blue, when they got to Los Angeles, they would just disappear from the board because they have been brought to their destination continent. Now, there are a few other requirements relating to these stars besides what I already told you about the carrying capacity. A given passenger card will only ride on an airplane that has at least as many stars as them. So in this case, my Lux jet, anyone will ride on. But if I had a dinkier little jet like this, a two-star or three-star passenger wouldn't ride. Now, they don't use three-star passengers in solo and co-op, so really I'd only have to worry about two stars here. And they even have a little fun visual cue for this. You'll see on the one-star plan, they only have stairs going down here. On the Lux jet, they've got things going to all three spots. And the two stars in the middle, so look, she's fine going from the Lux jet, but if you look at the horizontal kind of adjacency, whoops, these don't match up. So you can kind of see at a glance uh, how things match. And the same thing has to happen with the destination airport. A three star will only fly into a three star airport, a two star will fly into a two star or three star, so the airport has to match. And again, they have like these little things that will show you. So look, this guy's going right into the economy arrivals. But if it was a one star airport, she wouldn't be able to land there. And finally, fuel costs are pretty straightforward. They're summarized by this little compass here. If you're going north or south only, so from North America to South America or Africa to Europe or Asia to Oceania on the right, then it will cost two fuel. So you need at least a two fuel truck. If you're instead going west to east, so in this case from South America to Africa, Africa to Oceania, or Asia to Europe, it costs three fuel. And if you're going diagonally, like from Africa to North America, which is the case here with my little Nairobi to Los Angeles flight, it costs four fuel. Uh, what costs one fuel, you might be asking? That's if I flew within the same continent. Like if I wanted to bring somebody from Buenos Aires to uh, Rio de Janeiro. But in the solo co-op game, they have another way to do that called charter flight, so you won't really see that happen much. Now, an additional cool thing you can do with the flights is you can chain them together. So I can reuse this airport to become the origin of a new flight. And I could even bring some of the same people I brought on the first flight along on that one by putting down a new plane and a new passenger and a new destination airport. So that's a way you can get double use out of your airports. But you can't do that with anything else. You can't like reuse the same plane twice in one round or reuse the same passenger. 
And speaking of passengers and planes, here is the marketplace where you can buy more of them. The cost is up here and you'll have five uh, passengers available at a time and one plane. You can pay five money to clear these all out and get a whole new set, but only if you haven't bought anything yet. And they'll also clear out at the end of each of the 10 rounds. And now one small thing that I did talk to the designer about, the one star passengers cost 10 and the two star cost 20. But whereas in competitive, two star passengers are worth more. So you actually want them because you're trying to make money in solo co you're just trying to get people home. So the one stars are strictly better. So the designer said they might uh, raise the cost up just to make it kind of match the actual strategy of the solo co-op game. I can also buy new fuel trucks. Uh, level ones, again, I'm not really gonna get in solo co-op, but two for 15, three for 20, or four for 25. And the final special action, which I had mentioned, is the charter flight. Uh, for two money, the first time you do it each round, then four, then six, then eight, I'm playing on medium difficulty. It becomes more expensive and hard, less expensive and easy. You can move a passenger to a different airport in the same continent. So let's say I wanted to like fly out of New York with that New York airport card I have. I could move uh, this guy from Mexico City to New York and then bring him along for the ride. And speaking of airports, you also buy these. Just like passengers and airplanes, these stay permanently in your supply. And the bigger airports tend to have passengers show up more frequently at them, but they also cost more. So like London is 25, but if I went to a smaller airport like Athens, Greece, it would only cost me 15 to buy this card permanently. And these are never shuffled. The airports are always available for you to buy. And you can even buy what are called landing rights for very little money, but they're only for one round. Then they go away. And they can only be used as a destination. As you can see, the line ends there. So you can land with landing rights, but you can't take off. And as I mentioned at the end of each round, I'm going to add more passengers. Just to show you how that's randomized. You have these departure cards and these passenger cards, and you just match them up and it tells you where they are and where they're going. So here, look, it's a purple meeple trying to get South America or a pink meeple trying to get to Asia in Rio de Janeiro. And the structure of each round is pretty straightforward. First, I buy whatever I want. Remember, I can clear out the market and get a new market for five money before I buy anything. I do all the flights I wanna do and move passengers around. I get new passengers added, and then I get some more money, 45. I lose any landing rights. I progress on the game progress, I reset the charter flight so it doesn't cost so much every round. And I do get a penalty for airports that have too many people in them, or if at the end of a round I have any color completely emptied out. All five meeples are on the board. All right, so with the overview set, let's get into the play. So I know I'm already going to go from Nairobi to Los Angeles. That's all set with my starting cards. But then I'm thinking I could take that Los Angeles flight and go down to South America, maybe to Rio, and drop off this purple guy, clear three people away instead of two. Looking at the marketplace, the only nice affordable passenger wants to go to Europe. And yeah, I'd have to pay 20 for a South America passenger. I could pay five to clear these out. And yeah, I mean, there's no other one-star passenger, so I am gonna do that. I start out with 100 money, and you track that here. So I'm gonna go down to 95 and get a new market. And if I got another two-star plane, no problem with that. But once again, only uh, two-star passengers except for one. Gonna pay five again, go down to 90. This will be probably the last time I do this for now. Ooh, and this is much better, much, much better. Okay, uh, so let's see, I've got 90. I think we can get all of these guys. Well, I guess I don't need another North America yet, but Oceania and South America, that'll be 20, bring me down to 70. I do need another plane, even though the Lux Jet is really expensive. Later on, I'll let me carry a ton of people, so that'll bring me down to 40. I need just two fuel to go from North to South America, so I'll buy that for 15, I'm down to 25. And then I could just buy landing rights, but this early in the game, I'm sure I'll use Rio more later. So I'm gonna go down to zero dollars, but get another airport. Just to show you what this all looks like, from Nairobi with four fuel for the diagonal flight, passenger North America going to Los Angeles. Then from there to South America going to Rio de Janeiro. So I could bring up to three, but I only have two. They are home, so the blue comes off. And then I'll go from Los Angeles to Rio. Boom, also done. We have gotten three meeples back. But we're getting new demand. In the early rounds, you have low passenger demand, so you only do three new meeples. Oh, nice. Somebody else going to South America. Uh, new York. Someone in Santiago, South America, going to Oceania. Someone in Nairobi going to Asia. I've got uh, some of those airports. That's not bad. And I check real quick. I'm not out of any color. No airport has four people, although New York is close. So uh, I'm good. Don't suffer any penalties. I do go up to $45 again. And we're going into round two. And just a reminder that all the cards I used last round, except for landing rights if I would gotten any, and my fuel trucks, they're all ready to go again for this round. So going into the market phase first, oh my gosh, we got a ton of one stars. I've got South America, North America, and Oceania. So the only place I don't have yet is Africa, Asia, and Europe. So let's definitely get the Asia and Europe one stars. 
I don't know if I want to buy her yet. That's 20 out of our 45. We're down to 25. I could buy a plane for $5, but hmm, I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. Actually, you know, if I buy both those guys, I want enough money for the other stuff I want to do. And yeah, Europe is actually okay. There's only two yellow meeples on the board, so I'm not going to get the one-star Europe guy yet. That'll bring my money back to 35 a little better. Because I really want to clear out New York, and instead of spending a bunch of money to do charter flights for each of them to Los Angeles, I think it makes sense just to buy another airport. But that is 25, so I'm down to 10 again. And let's see, I can fly the purple down to Rio again. But green wants to go to the Australia region, and pink wants to go to Asia. And with the amount of money I have, I guess I'd have to get landing rights for either of those. And since it's further away and it's cheaper, I'm going to go ahead and do the Oceania one and get landing rights in Fiji for three. So I have seven money left. Or actually, wait, wait, hold on, I have a better idea. Instead of Fiji, let's do Mumbai in Asia, but it's only one, so I'll have nine money left. Because I can do a looping path and take care of a few things. Okay, so I'll do New York, going to South America first, and then landing in Rio. That'll only be two fuel, because I'm just going south. And then from Rio, with four fuel, take my Asia passenger to my landing rights in Mumbai. In this case, I'm actually going to bring everybody from New York. You'll see why in a second. So three of them land here. The purple guy immediately goes away, because he's in South America. And then I had a three plane to Asia. So the two of them are going to be gone immediately because they are home. The green guy's left in Mumbai, which isn't fantastic, but I can move him over to a bigger airport like Tokyo. And now he just needs to go south to Oceania. Although, hold on. I didn't notice that there was already a green guy in Santiago. So let's leave him here and then I can use a charter flight to get them into the same spot and take them both to like Auckland at the same time. All right, I had a lot of airports and passengers left, but no more fuel, no more planes. So that's it for me. And don't forget, I do lose the landing rights. I'd have to buy it again. And we're getting some new passengers. Someone in Rio going to Asia. Darn it, that's what I just did. Uh, someone in Tokyo going to Europe and Fiji going to Africa. And again, no airports with four. Uh, no colors run out. Although I have four out of the five red meeples on the board. So probably need to bring some people to Africa next round. But yeah, no penalty. So with nine left and 45 more, I'm going up to 54 money. And let's see, I'm not even going to waste time with this market. I'm just going to spend five because they're all two-star passengers and none of them are going to Africa, which is where I really said I want to go this round. So let's uh, redraw. Yuck, same thing again. Still no Africa, still almost all two-star. We're going down to 44 money. Ah, uh, beautiful. There we go. A one-star for Africa and another one. No, North America. I don't care about that. But the Africa one will be good. And there's a two-star plane, which I might try to buy if I have the money. Hey, everybody. Uh, sadly, I lost basically all the footage from round three. My camera just shut off, and I didn't realize it until I'd already done the whole thing, and I can't quite remember how to, like, piece back together. I'm pretty sure what happened, unless I'm thinking of a different round, is I brought the guy from Tokyo to Bali. I bought the airport for Bali. I brought both of them to Nairobi. And then I brought uh, the one blue meeple up to New York and brought the pink one along with him to get to Asia later. Pretty sure that's how it went. And now at the start of this round, I'm really looking to move some yellow meeples into Europe because that is the danger color at the moment. So I had to clear the market once, but I did get a one-star passenger to Europe. So I think I've got every continent covered for passengers so far. So let's see how I can get as many of these guys up, especially out of Sydney. So I think I might need to buy the airport for Sydney. I've got $33. That would leave me with eight left. Not much. And I don't actually have an airport in Europe, although I could do landing rights. Okay, so first things first, let's get the airport for Sydney. There's so many guys there. I got to get them out of here. Brings us down to eight. And what I'm thinking is I'll bring them up to Bali, which I bought last round. I'll get this Tokyo guy over and then bring all three of them to some cheap place. I guess Athens would be the cheapest for landing rights. It would just cost one. And then I'll clear out three yellow all at once. And yeah, I'd like to do more, but I just don't have the money for more airplanes and fuel trucks yet. So since it's my first charter flight of the round, it's just going to be two to do that. And that leaves me with six money. I'll go from Sydney to Asia. It's only going to cost two fuel because I'm going north-south. And I'll land in Bali where those two meeples are waiting. Take my second jet. And we're just going west to Europe. It wouldn't only need three fuel. I'll use my four there because that's what I got. My new passenger for Europe, my soon-to-be-gone landing rights for Athens. And let's see, do I want to bring the purple or the blue? I mean, <laughs> I guess not yet, because there's nobody in uh, Asia that they would want to go over to. See, so yeah, I'm just going to bring this guy to Bali, and then all three of them to uh, Athens, and they all come off, so yellow is safe again. And by the way, you don't have to use them in the solo co-op game, but it can be helpful. They have these little station markers that have more meaning in the uh, competitive game. But I figure it can't hurt to show where I have uh, airports. So the only thing I'm missing is a good airport in Europe. I'll probably try to buy London next round if I can. All right, since it's the end of round four, we're going to get high passenger demand. That'll be five new passengers. Yikes. 
So a red passenger in Vancouver, blue in Rio, pink in London, yellow in Johannesburg, and purple in Bali. And once again, we are pretty good. We only have one purple and one green left in the supply. Yikes. Although we've got a nice concentration of three green in South America, so one flight will take care of all of them. And then, uh, yeah, London. Definitely want to buy that this round so I can take care of it. But no penalties. We're going back up to 51. And on to round five. And let's see how the market's looking. I really would love to have a third plane, although, huh, just a one star won't be that great. It can only carry one person. I shouldn't need any more passengers right now. I have, like, all the combos I need. So, yeah, like, London would be 25. That would be 30 for the plane. And I could get, like, a three-star truck to kind of uh, mix things up a bit. Oh, that would only leave me one money, which would not be enough to make the transfers I need. Well, let's see. What do I want to do? I'd love to transfer this guy to Rio, get them all over to Sydney. Now, let's see. To do purple, I could get the guy in Barcelona to London. Oh, I know. I could do, like, from London down to Rio... Um, I could bring the two purple and a green. That would clear out both my trouble colors and my most troublesome city. So I have 51. Let's spend 25 to get London. So that leaves me with 26, and I've got uh, all the major stations I should need. But then let's see. I definitely need a three fuel truck, right? Because that would be four fuel and then three to get over to Oceania. So that's another 20. Only leaves me with six, which is enough for two transfers if I want to do them. So I guess that's all I'll buy for now. And I'll try to get away with just two flights. So I definitely want to transfer from Barcelona to London. That'll cost me two, leaving me with four. And then I guess that's the only transfer I need to do, because if I bring the green guy from London to Rio, I can't fit the guy in Santiago anyway. So yeah, I think we're good for round five. All right, so we'll go from London to Rio. That's a four fuel trip. And then from there to Sydney, which is our new three fuel truck trip. Once again, we've used all our planes. Oh my gosh, we have so many passengers in so many airports and another fuel truck. I need to get another plane. But didn't have enough this time. But it's okay, it's okay. So I'm going to bring uh, the green and two purples down to Rio. The purples are home. And then all three of these green over to Oceania and they're home as well. So I cleared off five people. I'm kind of treading water. But since I keep on buying stuff, theoretically I should be doing better later on. So our second high demand round, we got yellow in Rio, red in Warsaw, green in Johannesburg, blue in Shanghai, and pink in Sydney. And once again, no penalties, although <laughs> red and pink are down to one meeple now. Oh my gosh. But I'm going up to $49. All right, and this time, no matter what, I'm getting a plane. And by the way, I haven't called these out, but you have electric planes that are always available, one star and two star. They cost a ton, but you don't need fuel trucks for them. They can make the furthest... But you don't need fuel trucks for them, so... Well, the thing is, why would I get a $40 electric airplane when I could get a two-star and a four fuel truck? So, yeah, I'm not really going to worry about it. All right, so without even looking at anything, I'm definitely buying this plane for uh, 15 Brings me down to 34 And I might get another fuel truck once I see where I want to go. All right, so remember, my worst off colors are red and pink. Oh, man, pink is spread everywhere. That's not great. Red, I've got two in Europe, although I'll have to transfer them, and they're also spread otherwise. Yuck. Well, my highest impact continents seem to be uh, North America and Europe. Oh, and I guess uh, Oceania also has red and pink. And Sydney's in a bit of trouble, so I'm thinking, what if I, like, move this guy down to Sydney, maybe fly them up to Asia, fly the uh, people in North America over to Asia, and then do a little diagonal trip to Africa? So I would use my two fuel truck, my three fuel truck, and my four fuel truck, should be good. Oh, but the problem is I would need a landing rights or something for Asia since I'd be doing two different flights in and then chaining into a flight out. All right, so landing rights for Tokyo cost five. Brings me down to uh, 29. And then I think it's just transfers. So I want this guy from Vancouver. That's my first transfer, so that'll be two. This guy from Fiji, second transfer. That'll be four. So that's six. I'm down to 23. Wait, wait, do I need the landing rights? What if I took these guys and went up to North America... Went from there to Asia, went from there to Africa. So that's one, two, three. I have the planes for it, and that would also get uh, this blue guy there. Oh, but I think I wouldn't have the capacity to get all the red and the pink. All right, so let's keep it uh, simple with what I'm doing. All right, so I'm actually going to save some money for the future. I have 23, but I'm not going to spend it all. Oh, wait, wait, crud, crud, crud. If I do two flights into Asia, I need two Asian passengers, and I only have one. No, no, no. Okay, i got to figure out a different plan. Let's see, can I go from North America to Asia, Asia to Oceania, Oceania to Africa? That'd be three, two, three, so the fuel would work out. So these two would come here, one would be gone, then the red would come down here, and I'd get rid of both of the red, but I wouldn't have gotten rid of very many pink. I think I'll probably still be safe. 
All right, so I'll bring my two-star plane over to Bali with two guys. And then from there down to Sydney. And then from there to Nairobi, which will need uh, three fuels. So actually, I don't need these Tokyo landing rights. I'll sell those back. All right, so that's both of these guys from New York to Bali. The pink one goes away. And then let's see them down to Sydney. Oh, man, I could consolidate, but then I have a decent chance of getting a penalty, but whatever. Yeah, I'm going to bring both of them down to Sydney. One in here, just to make it a little bit safer, I'll use the three-star plane to bring another pink to... Oh, man, now I'm making that in danger, too. But I've got some colors doubled up for next turn, so that's good. All right, not a fabulous turn, but I do have a lot of money left, so I think next turn I'll be able to do a bunch. But I could definitely get hit with some penalties here. Let's see. New York, Bogota, Cairo, Dubai, Sydney. Darn it. Sydney's going to have four people in it, so I'm going to get a five-point penalty. But that's my only penalty. Nothing is out. So instead of getting 45, I'll get 40, which just put me all the way at 68 money. Not bad. And we're in round seven, which will be the last round, at the end of which we'll get a high demand card, and then we'll go back to low demand for 8, 9, 10. But I got to clear these people out. All right, so let's see. Market phase first. Definitely buying a plane for 15. Brings me down to 53. And ooh, I've got two one-star Asia. I'll get one of these guys for 10. I'm sure I'll be able to use it at some point. And I need more fuel, but I'm not sure how much yet. So I'll uh, sit for the moment. And let's see. Pink and yellow are my danger colors. And then I need to clear out Sydney and Nairobi. So I can clearly transfer that guy to Nairobi. Let's do that first for two. Then I guess I won't be able to clear all of them out, but I can get some of them at least. Actually, wait a second. I guess this guy was on Cairo? What if I buy the Cairo airport, and then I can do one flight out of Cairo and one out of Nairobi? So yeah, let's actually do the transfer like that. Oof, Cairo costs 20, so I'm down to 21. All right, that'll let me clear out the pink and the yellow. Then I can either bring a pink from Sydney to Nairobi and also do that. Or maybe I do the two purple over to Rio. Let's see, if I do two purple to Rio, that'll use one of my three fuels. If I do yellow up to Europe, that'll use my two fuel. And then pink over to Asia, will use my four fuel, so I'll actually be okay. And I guess I won't need <laughs> my new airplane yet, okay. Well, I'm sure I can find something to transport. So let's set all of those up, and then I'll figure out what fuel I'm going to buy. That's right, so first flight, Cairo to London. Good to go for the yellow. Okay, and then second will be Sydney to Nairobi to Bali. Let's see, I've got North and South American airports left. So maybe I'll transfer this guy to Rio. That'll cost me four since it's my second. I'm down to 17. I need two fuel, so I can buy this for 15 and be down to two. But that'll let me make a little quick trip from Rio to New York. Cairo to London. I think I'll leave the purple guy because I'm going to do a big uh, purple trip to South America next turn. And on that topic, I'm going to bring my two purples and a pink to Nairobi. And then bring all three of the pinks to uh, Bali. Excellent. And look, yeah, now I got a huge uh, South American trip ready to go. Okay, I'm feeling much better where we are this turn than last turn. I don't think I'll get any penalties. This is our last high demand. I got Los Angeles, London, Nairobi, Mumbai, and Auckland. Okay. And no penalties. We're going into round eight, which means we'll have low demand at the end of this round, low demand at the end of the next round, but we've got to win by round 10. We're up to $47. Not too bad. And let's see. I've got four planes and four fuel trucks. I don't know if I'll need a fifth. I guess we'll see how things go. Okay, my worst color is green. I've got uh, two in Asia. The rest are kind of spread out a bit. Ooh, could I do this? Could I do three purple to South America and then go from like, uh, move this guy to Rio, go from Rio over to Asia and then bring all the greens down to Oceania? Sure, I think I could. I mean, here we go. It uses almost everything, but Nairobi to Rio to Bali to Sydney. Now I need a lot of transfers to make this really work well. I need to transfer this guy to there and then this guy to there. And then both these guys over to Bali. Oh my gosh, that's four transfers. So that's two, plus four is six, plus six is 12, plus eight is 20. I'd still have some money left, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it for much, but let's uh, go ahead and pay for all of that. So that's max transfers for the round, but I'm in a pretty good place from there. Still got one plane, I've still got some fuel. I've got 27 to spend if I need to. Well, this might be dumb, but I could bring this one blue guy from Sydney to Shanghai as one final leg of that big trip. Uh, Shanghai would cost me 20. I guess I could just get the landing rights. Although they'll both be in Shanghai, so if I buy it now, I won't have to transfer them later. So what the heck, I'll buy it, leaving me with uh, $7. Hey, it means I'm finally using my second Asian passenger, and oh my gosh, this is an insane chain. All right, so here we go, up to three from Nairobi to Rio. They're all delivered. It clears out purple. From Rio up to Asia. I guess I'll leave the yellow here for now and just bring this guy to Bali. 
Okay, from Bali all the way down to Sydney, all three are gone. And finally from Sydney up to Shanghai, ready to ship out next time. Maybe I'll bring that blue guy from London first. All right, so we're getting there. We're getting there. I mean, oh, we still have a lot to do though. We're gonna get three more guys right now. And what's our second to last demand card have for us? Okay, Vancouver going to Europe, Moscow going to North America, Nairobi going to Asia. There's actually good stuff there because we've got two yellows now in North America, two blues in Europe, although darn it, they're crossing each other. I can't do a chain really. What I could do is go from Shanghai to North America, like maybe New York, and then from there to Europe, and then separately go from Europe to North America. I just might need some landing rights or something. Okay, let's uh, see if we can make this work. So I have $52. And again, not sure I need to buy anything, but I've got a three-star jet. I've got a uh, passenger for Europe that's one star. Hmm. See, I think I want to go one, two. Separately, I can take those two blue guys over there. And then I've got a lot of red. Oh, man. Europe is really concentrated overall. Okay, so let's start out with that stuff. All right, so let's see. For the first trip, I'm going Shanghai to New York. I'm getting landing rights in Athens, so I can still use London for the other trip. So it'll cost me one. I think I need another three fuel car for this. That'll cost me 20. So I'm down to 32. I definitely need a first transfer here for two. Okay, so that'll take care of them and them. It's going to do a transfer for four to get to London. Then I can go from London to Los Angeles. Oh, and I can bring the pink passenger along, stop over in Los Angeles, and then go on to Bali, my other Asian airport, and that'll take care of two pinks. So I'll get uh, those three, and those two, and those two, and that guy. Man, this should be really, really good. Oh, except, yuck, I'll need another three fuel. That's another 20. I'm down to six. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I don't have another North American passenger, and I don't have enough money to get them anyway. All right, so you know what? I won't spend 20 for another fuel truck. Instead, I'll spend 10 for another Europe passenger. Yes, yeah, so that'll let me do Nairobi to London to Bali. Let's see how this works out. All right, so first one, we've got Shanghai to New York, their home, and then uh, over here to Athens, their home. So that's four guys cleared. Okay, then we're doing Nairobi up to London. Although, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll transfer this guy for four. Oh, no, it's six, so I'm down to 10. And then all three of them will come up to London. I'll bring the two pink guys and the green guy to Bali. So green's ready to go down to Oceania, and I got them gone. But that's most of my money, all my planes. I'm going to stop there. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oof. Here's our last three. Hopefully they're kind. Okay, Rio going to Europe. Athens going to North America. Tokyo going to South America. Okay, there was some very good stuff there. I got another yellow here and another blue here. But yeah, I have one turn to get them all home. I don't know if I'm going to make this, guys. But no penalties. I do go up to 55 money. And yeah, we're going to try our best. All right, so here we go, here we go. We just gotta plan this out. So from South America to Europe, then I can easily chain that. Yeah, so South America to Europe, let's say then I grab uh, the red meeples and go down here. Let's see, can I go from Tokyo and Bali uh, if I transfer? I mean, I'm definitely gonna transfer that guy. That'll cost two. All right, so I go from there to Oceania. Then they can go over to South America. That will clear out the green and the purple. The red will be able to join the reds in Europe and come down to Africa. So boop, boop. So that's one flight, two flights, three flights, four flights. So I need at least one more plane to bring them over to North America. And that's two fuel, three fuel, and then four fuel, and then two fuel again. So actually I have enough fuel if I just get one more plane. The only one available is a 30. That's kind of more than I want to spend. Okay, but that leaves me with <laughs> 23. I need to transfer this guy to Sydney. That'll cost four. So now I'm down to 19. Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to do it because I need two European airports. I need too many transfers. Ah, yeah, crud, crud, crud. All right, I can buy the Athens airport. Ah, darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, yeah, the best I can do, I think, is getting all of these guys out. Because I just don't have enough money to do all the transfers and also get a second European airport. So just to show you how it would go, I would go down to Sydney, drop off the green guy. I would go over to South America, drop off the purple guy to London, drop off the yellow guys, and I would go over to uh, North America. Oh my gosh, I had a pink in Los Angeles. Okay, well, <laughs> I was done anyway. Man, uh, this game is a tough. And the only change on easy mode is that you spend less money for each transfer, but it's literally like you're saving three or four dollars every round. You can make more transfers every round, so I bet I would have been able to win if I had uh, been playing on easy. But there you go, that was a solo playthrough. Let's uh, talk about my thoughts. So overall, as you can probably tell in those final rounds, this can be a brain burner. And I think that's definitely where this game is going to appeal the most for the solo and co-op crowd. If you like really figuring out these complicated, like, mixing paths and how to get these colors from one place to another, 
Uh, it's definitely going to be fun for you. On the negative side, I do think the purchases will be kind of similar game to game. Like you're always going to go for the one star passengers and the three star airports tend to be the most used. You don't have to transfer a ton. So I do see that kind of being a bit samey, but where the actual passengers come out and the puzzle is going to change from game to game, so I'm not too worried about that. And if the designer does mess with the value so the one-star passengers cost more than the two-star passengers and you have kind of that decision space added in, I think it could be even more fun and challenging. And I didn't even talk about co-op, or you can even play solo two-handed to increase the challenge, because then you've each got your own separate airports and your own separate airplanes, and you can chain getting passengers to where they need to go together, like I I drop them off in London, then you take them from London to New York. It has awesome implications, but it has been very challenging because the turns can get so thinky. So I think you have to have the right uh, other player to play two-player co-op. Whereas competitive is a lot faster. You can kind of all figure out your flights at the same time. So uh, that, I think, is an easier sell. I think two-player co-op is going to be an acquired taste, whereas solo, I think, will be enjoyed by a lot of people. So yeah, overall, Connecting Flight, I think a very cool one if you like some tough puzzles in your solo play. So go check out the Kickstarter once it's live, and thanks for watching, everybody. Good gaming, and I'll see you at the next stop.